Welcome to a new video lesson. In today's lesson, I will give an analysis of Clear Light of Day by Anita Desai. So, let's begin. In my last class, I have spoken about how beam is taking the place of the head of the family and how after their father's death a raja has refused to be the part of the business this would turn into a problem which will force beam and her family to be constantly dependent on the person that is mr sharma and it will be erased out it will be solved or it will try to be it will be taken into consideration to be solved in the last chapter that is chapter 4 till this point and this this has become the very important thing on which the emotional disturbance of beam is dependent the emotional disturbance of beam is because she is constantly feeling that she is left alone okay that is not clearly stated over here but when we consider this when we will consider this uh, section we in with respect to the present situation present time actually then we will understand how aloof uh, she is becoming she does not have anyone to depend on and this leads to her emotional vulnerability this vulnerable state makes her uh, speak up to the doctor dr biswas who was uh, attending Uh, Raja, um, that day, Raja's uh, argument disturbed Bim so much that when doctor came to visit him in the evening, um, she simply showed the temperature chart at him and asked for a new prescription, but actually invited him. to sit down with her on the veranda before he left that is he she did not just simply uh, show the uh, shown him the shown the doctor the temperature chart and asked for her uh, new prescription but the emotional vulnerability forced or made bim to actually invite the doctor to sit beside her on the veranda before he left because uh, she wanted to know uh, when he will get better he asks she asks that too she asks that how much longer do you think it will it'll be before he begins to get better she asks him the doctor's description is given Uh, the doctor is a soft spoken awkward young bengali who has been sent to ramkrishna mission or whatever he spoke softly and he was also the doctor of raja was also observing beam's appearance this observation is um important from two aspects because number 1 the doctor feels a kind of um affection related to love um towards bim and number 2 for the readers it will make a image it will create a image uh, for the readers to understand what the social position what the time has um given what imprint time has left on beam okay so let's see what it is showing 
she sees a uh, sorry the doctor sees that she is ha um, in a state where she had asked him to um, sit and noticed that her face was drawn and colorless the hair was untidy and there was distinct streak of gray hairs in it so beam is beam has not even passed out college okay and she has gray hairs over her left ear it seemed to him that is the doctor that at least 20 years too early for such an occurrence okay so uh, the family in his family um, the women use different um, things to color to keep the color of the color black of the hair intact but um, which could turn in gray in 40 or even 50 but here we see that at the age of 20 or something uh, she is facing the gray hairs the dullness in her face and the untidiness in her in her hair okay so this shows that the doctor is observant and he is observing because he has affections for uh, her or the affections will grow in due course um, also what we will what we can see here is that the problems of the family has left an impact uh, on beam um, then in a concerned voice uh, the doctor said you must not worry so miss das uh, it is very mild attack of tb these days we can control TB with drugs quite effectively yes the drugs combined with good nursing and everything good diet one has to be patience one has to have patience also she says that how much time beam persisted <laughs> you know my father she began then she stopped short wondering how she had let herself to go to such an extent so what we see here is that beam is opening up beam is constantly opening up showing her vulnerability to the doctor in front of the doctor the vulnerability is being shown okay the restlessness that is present within beam with the fact that um the business is left uh, Raja is not taking over the business he, he is not filling the shoes of the father and whatever this has left Beam totally vulnerable totally to her own where she cannot decide what to do she can find the doctor only want to talk to she begins to say that she is willing to get Raja um, recover very soon that's why uh, she is asking that's why she is persistently asking that and what we see here is that he stopped in the middle of a sentence after saying that you know my father that is you know my father that uh, Bim's father is dead she was going to say but the young doctor's face his posture clutching the back set on the knees neatly where where the face of the posture non-entities people seen in a bus queue bending over the table in a tea shop huddled what this things he had nothing to give her why did she ask so she felt as if she might get something from him at least emotional support but certainly uh, suddenly she felt that the doctor's body language and uh, the uh, way he was sitting his posture his face his clutching of the knees um, his clutching of the bag and uh, on his knees 
which were neatly as if he was a co-passenger of the bus okay as if he was a non entity he was a non entity a unknown person he had nothing to give but beam felt that he should uh, she should open up but now she does not know why she did that the doctor said i know i know the young doctor stammered urgently uh, he passed away i am so sorry and everything and the ceremony you did not see me i was with mr sharma so uh, the doctor was present uh, during the ceremony um, bim i know bim broke abruptly untruthfully okay so bim had not noticed the presence of the doctor whatever what we see here is that bim was constantly in a position where she is becoming vulnerable and this vulnerability is shown in her um, action of asking the doctor to sit down unlike other days and what she could talk about is not known to her so she abruptly asks for will you have a cup of tea she asks to the ask the doctor which has not been asked before never uh, yes grabs the young man as much to his own surprise as to bim so almost as a surprise as a sur- price to both the young man that is the doctor said that he would like to have some tea and this surprised both of them both the doctor and the beam uh, beam was also surprised what is the reason behind this subconsciously the doctor is willing to prolong the stay with beam okay that's why he said so maybe he also wants to give her company bim went down the baranda and called miramashi to ask janki to send a cup of tea for the doctor um and bim came back uh, to the circle of the cane chairs and sat down um the doctor bis was said hurriedly i see i see it all he was trying to find out words to fit for the situation as uh, all of these has been sudden right so he is not finding appropriate words to uh, be spoken here he says that there are great problems your father pause the house pause the family there is a halting always a halting in his his speech because he is stammering and also because he does not know what exactly should be spoken to the one he likes and he is at a loss of words and ultimately he says it is too much for a young lady as beam has to take responsibility of everything uh, raja must recover he must take his father's place okay but this has already been spoken about raja has refused to take bim who da, who cannot do anything on his own is asked to take care of the business right so what we see here is that uh, the thing that has also made um, bim vulnerable has been spoken abruptly unconsciously unknowingly in front of bim which le- which leaves bim to laugh or a snort because uh, this is not because sh- this is amusing thing but because uh, it is a contemptuous thing where bim is constantly able to know that baba is there he feels the baba's present but except baba no one in this family is present for bim okay 
and Raja would as soon as he uh, recovers he will leave for Hyderabad for his idol right Hyderabad for Hyderabad but he has no affection for the family business whatever uh, be mocked and said father's place and then stopped she would not reveal more so see this dictomy and beam is constantly wanting to speak is constantly wanting to vent out her, her feelings that she has suppressed within her she is also doing so in certain parts but at the next moment uh, she is constantly stopping her she is constantly stopping the process in order to not reveal more because the more you reveal the more you open up the more you become vulnerable for example uh, if anyone is able to know your inner turbulences inner emotional turbulences you will become uh, weaker in front of that person right if you are going through a problem and you speak of it you will feel relaxed whatever but you will be emotionally weaker in front of that person if that other person is a wicked one he or she can use that weakness emotional weakness of yours to satisfy his own wishes or it can he can take advantage of you is just a tip but here beam is a person who is a stable one who can take things in her own control but everyone has a breaking point right everyone has a breaking point which leads them to speak up of the emotional turbulences right so what we see here is that um beam the things that beam is suffering from the emotional disturbances all these things are being um, spoken out all these things are being um, spoken by beam in order to relax her but at the same time he is stopping herself um, so that he does not become vulnerable in front of an outsider he does not become emotionally dependent on an outsider so this thing the hedges round the garden grew high to hide to conceal so they did not actually grew high how can the uh, um, hedges grow high but as if the boundary the imaginary boundary that is present within uh, beam's heart that is present and inside beam which protects her heart certainly grew she would cut them short or reveal he she has this dictomy she always wanted uh, to share something she wanted to share something or uh, this is shown here that she got up impatiently if she cuts them short if if she breaks the wall and everything then what will happen she will reveal everything she will reveal the inner turmoil that she is facing okay so what we see here is that beam become became emotionally vulnerable which led her to expose her restlessness to the doctor but now she is taking control of herself as she is not willing to reveal herself in front of the uh, in front of the doctor in front of a strange man to whom it was all related with uh, getting care getting raja cured okay so she impatiently and restlessly went down to the ki- kitchen called janki and janki gave her a surly look and eventually the tea appeared the doctor uh, tried uh, doctor uh, was 
trying to get it and what we see here is that eventually the tea appeared on a brass tray that had not been polished for years okay so they do not have this tradition of um, is giving tea uh, to people so out of a sudden impulse um, that she asked for so that was quite not normal not usual in the family so the doctor's back fell down as uh, he rose to get uh, the tea and at the same time while he tried to hold the cup in one hand and picked up the bag with the other uh, he spilled tea as he did so there was this unusual situation where both were in where both were uncomfortable in the situation to calm himself he stirred and stirred the tea with a love wood spoon then beam with a mind respect to looked up at beam with timid respect i see how it is he said wanting her uh, also to see that he saw i see what a difficult position i mean for you the problems so she, he is trying the doctor is trying to console the doctor is trying to be empathetic okay but he is not fit uh, to speak those words he is not finding fit words to speak so uh, beam blasted out no no what problems blasted beam be on her own again wanting to clear him out now so beam is now taking control of herself the emotional vulnerability is gone from her uh, beam is taking control of her emotions uh, she became a bit vulnerable in front of the doctor but now um uh, she is taking control by talking by saying that she has no problems obviously she has problems uh, and also by taking talking about things uh, which are not related to it like uh, she asks baba do you want tea sugar as if uh, she is a mother and talking to a child okay i think the doctor i think i may reassure you one point at least raja will get well so he is trying to be sympathetic he is reassuring bim gave a quick look to see if he was being honest or only kind right so what we see here is that bim is a observer of character or a person who will not just believe the words but would really try to understand um, what the expression says he had a very honest face she felt she decided painfully honest uh, like a peeled vegetable as if everything could be seen but it was also kind dreadfully kind so the kindness is for actually for bim okay she said are you sure you don't think we will have to send him to hospital or to a sanatorium uh, so uh, bim is concerned about raja but the doctor says that it is not necessary now i have no doubt it will not be necessary he will, will improve but in this uh, time he says that the, uh, then once the cool weather starts i feel the health will begin to pick up so the doctor is consoling with kindness he is trying to be empathetic for beam but beam although she nodded looked doubtful again because raja is her only support okay having failed in his effort to reassure dr biswas raised the cup to his mouth at last and drank the cold tea in one gulp while the cup dripped down onto her onto his knees they rose to leave realizing he had not given her what she needed had not been up to it
so again the fractions again the fragments that is present there is always uh, a chance for beam to get out of the family beam to um, start her own life but as we have read chapter 1 uh, we know that um, beam is still unmarried and this is about the past so what we see here is that we realize that um, this reassuring thing this assurance did not work much okay so the look of the failure overcame the look of anxiety uh, he had not been up to it uh, the anxiety that was present it was overcame by the um, look of failure that he failed to reassure bim tara came home with bakul she found uh, bim alone on veranda her face was so gray old that glow went out of tara's she too became subdued so another existence another um part of the family who has who was supposed to be there to take care of the uh, family members to help bim but she is always an external element present within the uh, internal sections of the family she is always out her life surrounds around bakul okay the she is already in good mood okay but the moment the gloomy atmosphere is seen through the face of beam she too become subdued bakul did not notice and sat down to chat with the sisters and the bland oil and self confidence smoothing his voice and everything beam uh, looked away into the shadowy garden in boredom it was opposite uh, of a uh, poor biswas a stone then why did they usually bow her she wondered as she watched and mira's cat stealing past the flower pots a cloud beam watched her her chin curved in her she was the only thing that moved in the stiff bakula just said something that she had had failed to hear the cat had at the instance poured on the stock a beam tara said parted by such absent mindedness bakul's posting has just come through so uh, bakul is will be going very soon and bim turned to look at them smiling at each other tell her bakul uh, tara arrs now bim's attention was drawn to them even if the look were tired and not interested enough to really bakul's justice Uh, bakul said that he would be proceeded to ceylon uh, that is present day sri lanka uh, of course it is in the country of my choice but it is the, to be only while the bakul will be facing the training he will be trained there after a year he expects that he will be sent to the west uh, because he is specialized in european language most probably in western europe ceylon beam responded with at last uh, quite dramatically tara thought as if it aroused romantic scented pictures in her as if it did in tara's but all she said was that will be interesting okay so what we see here is that staying within the same family staying within the same people the emotions are quite variant right while beam is concerned about the whole family to be run whole family to be taken care tara is a person who is constantly outward looking okay he is concerned about herself uh, she is concerned about herself only exactly that is what i told tara he said gaily um, that is the sp- uh, spoken by um, 
बकुल बीम गेज एट दैम एट देयर हैप्पीनेस ओके सो दिस लाइन शोज दैट द हैप्पीनेस कैन ओनली बी गेज एट बाई बीम शी कैन नॉट हैव हर ओन हैप्पीनेस येस शी कैन बी हैप्पी इन हर सिस्टर्स हैप्पीनेस बट वट वी सी हियर इज दैट इन सच अ सॉम्बर कॉन्डिशन इन सच अ सॉम्बर एटमोसफियर इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर बीम टू बी हैप्पी वेन राजा इज इल बाबा इज परपेचुअली इन अ स्टेट ऑफ इनोसेंस आंट मीरा इज लूजिंग हर सेंसेस Aunt Mira is losing her position, and on this surface, in the same situation, Tara is going out. Bakul, she said with a sudden crispness, "What is happening?" Uh, happening? He asked, turning with his handsome profile to look at. But I was expecting it any day. It was a foreign service, after all. I had. Uh, told Tara, no, no, no. I mean in New Delhi, in New Delhi. Yes, she said impatiently. Uh, oh, he said. Well, we are all waiting for the date to be set for partition, for independence. So, what they see here is that the independence of India, the date of partition is yet to be set, and. before that the constant partition of the family is going on okay first of all the non existence father and mother is cleared out next there will be a partition there will be a partition and of the country so the partition of the country is uh, in alliance is shown in alliance with the partition of the family of the das right where tara will move out of the family okay and then and then there will be trouble he said simply not liking to dramatize but you need not worry all steps are taken or being taken to carry out okay uh, partition smoothly we hope safely so the voice of a diplomat is coming out okay he says that everything will be taken care of and there will be safety but we know that nothing was safe in those times they own uh, there uh, won't be riots here and muslim who live here and everything yes exactly i am worried about them so is raja our neighbors who you know the hyder alis they have disappeared and everything so the what we see here is that the um demarcation that is being brought within the uh country along the communal lines the same demarcation same kind of demarcation is brought into the family of das into bims family by the wishes and demands and the likings of the family members first of all the parents their liking was more their affinity was more towards uh, playing cards and everything visiting clubs right whereas aunt meeras was to take care of the family that's why she was brought here similarly among the children also beams motive is to take care of baba take care of the house control the business through raja but raja is willing to move out of the <coughs> uh, house and go to hyderabad go to take uh, go to hyder ali's house and everything whereas on from the perspective of tara she is in love and she is willing to move out of the house with bakul with whom she can see the future okay uh so bakul says that un 
and that most of them have left uh, already left they have been acted quickly uh, acted quite quickly the Hyder Ali's must have done that but they must still be in the country somewhere what will happen to them they will have police protection they can go to the refugee camps it is all areas Bim shook her head and was silent while Bakul went on about the measures taken by the government so he is talking about uh, the like a diplomat uh, like an administrative officer unperturbed behavior is seen in Bakul right uh, he is not concerned not linked with the thing emotionally lack of emotional bonding is uh, seen in Bakul he is a pure dramatic a pure dramatic tone is seen pure dramatic tone of a diplomat is seen in Bakul okay so what we see here is that uh, Bakul's voice being felt she is listening to banal newspaper articles being read out Bakul's voice is of the ruling class okay he is there to take care of the things so called take care of the things where everything will be managed but nothing is actually managed for the weaker sections of the society this weaker section can be the lowest sections the minorities um, minorities can be depending on the place uh, also those people in when we consider the family the minorities are those who are emotionally vulnerable who have nowhere to go who are left with the emotions of taking care of the family like Bakul I say like Bim right Bakul if we take into consideration about the family he will say everything will be taken care of like he will take care of Tara but what about Bim what about Baba what about Aunt Mira Raja will move out he has his own dreams he has no concern about the um, family no concern about the house that they live in right so what we see here is that in every situation in every situation in every dire situation the weaker sections of the society are the one who gets into trouble who are traumatized who face the uh, situation more blatantly uh, where they are left at their own mercy you can see uh, in the case of migrant workers during corona corona lockdown okay they are left at their own they are the backbone of the society they are the economic background they work and they run the things for the capitalist society right for the administration for everything but now they are not taken care of they are left at their own mercy they are walking thousands and thousands of miles right if I go on saying about the migrant workers I will divert whatever be it um, we see here is that um, Bakul's voice is that of the ruling class where um, everything will be uh, perfect according to him Bakul instantly got up you must tell him there is no need he say he keeps asking for news Raja um, uh, always asking ask for news he is anxious about Haider Ali's Bakul instantly says that you must tell him there is no need please tell him I will go back and make inquiries about them and will soon see to personally that they are not harmed the Haider Ali's okay so what we see here is that an air of aristocracy an air of administrative aristocracy is felt through the voice of Bakul um, Bim said that we don't even know where they are and given him the ironical look she walked away Bakul looked puzzled for the moment he wondered if he had been snubbed Bim did have such discouraging ways he was very uh, he was a very junior servant in the foreign service it was true 
in fact he was still in training he did not really know what was to be done so uh, still he didn't like everyone to think he did whatever uh, so he sat down again beside tara and picked up a hand and squeezed it lightly so tara could speak in a different tone from tara he got a different response he smiled at her fondly like an indulgent father she smiled back gratefully she did not had an indulgent father after all okay so the place of the father in a girl's life is very important okay most of the girls will say that uh, the most liked person in the family is their father right this indulgence is provided by bakul that's why she is so much into love with him that vacant position that vacant emotional state is being taken care of by bakul and that is why uh, she is so inclined to bakul and uh, he says softly to tara i must take you with me you are too young for all this i must take you away so she he is all, he is always trying to project he is he is treating tara in such a way he is treating tara uh in such a way as if she is a little girl who needs to be cared for who needs who need not to face all these things unlike bim who is facing these things so the partition of the family the date of the partition of the family is not yet mentioned but it will happen for sure is mentioned through this where he says that i must take you with me obviously it will happen sometime or the other and they will get married and uh, because tara will get married but this date is not yet mentioned okay so there is a similarity between it uh, that between the family and the uh, country though from different perspective uh, the country is being uh, divided for partition or for political benefit or for independence whatever be your stake whatever be your choice to take you have you can think of that but most of it it is socially and politically right uh, political dependent but for here for the family the partition the thing is happening because of the emotional disturbances emotional uh, void that is created okay and the emotional vulnerability and the difference that one face within the family the gloomy situation the thing that they will be la- laid into so in order to provide a better position for tara she will be taken care of by the so called administrative head not the administrative head but the administrative uh, representative of the administration whereas the weaker will be left over so actually who is the weaker one is remains a question the one who stays and faces the turmoil faces all the emotional imbalances that person that is beam is weaker or tara who is uh, tara who does not know how to deal with the situation she is weaker that remains a question but what i would suggest is that everyone is emotionally weaker in their own perspective from their own stance she cannot that is beam cannot leave the house that is her main concern right she cannot leave the family that is most that is most important for her whereas for tara her emotional balance her life her own life is more important than anything else so the divide the divide due to the perspective towards life the divide is due to the livelihood the wa- the way one leads 
the one the way one wants to lead okay we will continue in the next class the next section we will continue okay thank you